Hi, g'day, it's Mal from Old Man Speed. Uh, I thought what I'd do is go through with you. A few guys ask about what riding gear I wear. Basically have a couple of different outfits that I wear. It all depends on what level of riding I'm gonna go and do. Let's start from the beginning. If I'm going out for a casual ride, which will be a ride up through the hills with die on the back, I'm not training anybody. Uh, it's more or less just going for a tour on the bike. I will wear, which is what I wore to Cape York, these cargo pants. That's all I wear. So these are a Kevlar um, embedded thing. Um, cargo pockets, they did have knee protection. I've taken that out. I combine that with typically a t-shirt and I would wear a jacket. So this is the jacket I wear. Uh, you can look this up online. I'll have the links in the description below on what these products are, where you can get them. Um, but that's an Alpine Star jacket. It's a bit of a lighter weight jacket for Queensland. Uh, has like a dual zip up the front. I don't know if you can see there, so you can zip it for a mesh open or zip it here so that's fully closed. Um, good arm vents. Back vents. Uh, has some padding, just like some rubber padding in the elbows and shoulders. I don't find it intrusive, so I just leave it there. I haven't worried about it. Good pockets. Uh, it comes down a little bit lower than the jacket I wore to Cape York. I wore this... Um, really like the jacket but it was a bit short so this one comes down just a little bit longer um yeah really happy with that so a casual ride is a t-shirt those pants let's say next year i'm going on a long adventure bike ride and it's winter time these are the pants i'll be wearing so these are an overpant alpine star i kind of like the subtle things i don't like all the stripes and colors on i don't want to look like i'm going um to a ski resort which i think a lot of adventure bike gear looks like to me sorry no offense to people making that gear. This is the Alpine Star Tech Touring pant. Haven't worn them, still got all the bag, all the tags and that on them. Um, had them for a few months and haven't got to wear them yet. So I'll be combining that with the Alpine Star jacket, Suomi helmet, my glove on the road, and boots. I just wear these. So these are a dry rider boot. I just started to wear them out on the bottom. So these are the boots I actually rode to Cape York. These when I did the beach ride, uh, this is all I wore. These boots, those pants, t-shirt and jacket. Alpine Star Tech 7s. These boots would have to be 18 months old. Um, let's have a look at sole wear. These are the flat motocross sole on the bottom. So I bought these specifically for adventure bike riding, but um, just haven't used them yet. Um, I'm sure they'll get used through 2023. So they sit in the corner while I'm wearing the older Tech 7s. Um, good thing about Tech 7s, quite often, so I wear those boots when I'm training guys on the adventure bike and motocross riding. Quite often, example, the other day, I, I forgot my socks. You can just wear them with no socks. They're so comfortable. There's no break-in period with the Tech 7s. You just wear them and they're comfortable. I will go to what gloves I wear. So my gloves are my own. I'm sure you've seen these, seen me wearing these, my old band speed gloves. Uh, these are made by Fist. You can only get them through us. Again, links are in the description below. Um, there's a discount code for these, MD74. So you can buy these gloves off me. This is all I wear. They're just a lightweight motocross glove. This pair of gloves here, a little bit dirty. This is the actual pair that I wore to Cape York. So 7,000 kilometers. I rotate between two pairs of gloves and this is one pair of them. So there's a very high chance this is the pair that I wore for 7,500 kilometers. Um, we just throw them in the wash once every couple of weeks. They come out like brand new and I haven't needed to replace them. Helmets. So I've chosen this. It's called the Suomi MX Tourer. So you can see the label on the back there. Super lightweight, super comfortable, good drop down visor. Has the drop down sun visor inside as well. Um, I hardly even, even use that. I just use the clear most of the time. But uh, yeah, I absolutely love this thing. Before this helmet, I had an Acherbus. It was like a cheaper adventure bike helmet. There was a lot of wind noise. This thing has been fantastic and highly recommend it. Now for motocross, I wear this. This is an Alpine Star SM8. So this is their not top of the range helmet. It's the first one down. So you might see a bit of a theme. I like my black helmets. Um, great helmet, super comfy. Uh, next time around, I'll probably grab one of the carbon fiber ones. I don't think the protection is any higher. They just um, are a bloody cool looking helmet, so I'll get one of them next. But that helmet there is pretty much probably going on two years old. 
and I ride weekly. I ride, I'm at the motocross track each week. This is the helmet I use for motocross. The Suomi is what I use for all my adventure bike stuff. When I'm doing my training days, so when I'm coaching people, or if I'm gonna go out and do, let's say I was gonna go out for a ride with a bunch of guys and we we're gonna hit some harder trails, I would up my clothing level and safety level slightly over what I just wear on a casual ride. So in that case, what I'm sure most of you have seen me, is I just wear a lightweight motocross pant, um, Alpine Star pant, great product. I'm in Queensland, so they, you know, we have warmer weathers. These are just fantastic. I wear these all year round. It's literally so thin and that's, it, it's vented. It's extremely cool. It wicks the sweat away from your body. Uh, when I do my training days, and it wouldn't matter whether it's winter or summer up here in Queensland, this is all I wear. I'm going to talk about body protection. When I go on my casual rides, again, these are cruisy rides on the pegs, standing up, going through the mountains and just doing dirt roads. I have no body protection. I have no body protection, gloves, helmet, and the pants I'm wearing. That's about it. And the jacket. Don't take this as advice. This is personally what I do. Other than being a child of the born in the sixties and a child of the seventies, you know, we were quite reckless. So, I think that is just still in my head. I'm just not anal on safety gear. Racing motocross for like 15 years, I had some big offs, some monumental crashes. I lost bits of skin off my elbow, little bits off my shoulders. That's pretty much it. And all we wear is a lightweight jersey. If you're gonna crash an adventure bike, my theory is if you're gonna crash, by the time you hit the ground, you're probably only doing 20 or 30 kilometers an hour. I don't wanna be restricted with movement for, for a three week ride for the one potential opportunity that I might have an off. So I'll, I'll run the risk on that. Knee protection. So when I'm coaching, when I'm riding motocross, or if I'm going out on a harder off-road day on the 1290, I always wear knee protection. These are made by EVS. These are called the Travis Pastrana 199 knee pads. I've gone through everything. So in the 80s, we didn't have any knee protection. Uh, then we got onto plastic cups. It wasn't until the early 2000s that the whole knee brace um, came into play. Um, I like knee braces. I've ridden with them. I just don't particularly feel I need them for me. So I wear these, a good protection down the shin blade, good protection on my kneecap. If I fall, this will protect me. These are made by Alpine Star. These are a hard plastic pivot knee guard. Um, I wore these for about six months. The only problem I found is because I gripped the bike so hard with my knees, this is the inside part of the protection here. It actually wears a hole through my, through my racing pants and I can't keep buying racing pants all the time. So I should either put a bit of rubber on here. Um, that's the only problem I have with these. They, they literally wear through my pants because I'm gripping the bike so hard. These are a little bit cooler because they're not a complete wrap around. They just have two Velcro fasteners which is quick release as well, which is quite nice. So they're really easy to get on and off. They're vented. They're really nice and cool to wear. The EVS ones are actually like a wetsuit material. So it's like putting your foot in through a wetsuit and then it Velcros around your leg. Your legs really sweat up in those things. But if you're gonna go out and you're not that confident a rider, wear gloves, wear a helmet, wear something on your knees and good boots. They're probably the main things that I really would say to focus on when you're purchasing gear. I normally pack a pair of boardies or I'll wear boardies under my, uh, the, these pants. I'll just wear a pair of boardies under these so I can strip them off and go for a swim. Um, I have some lightweight, cheap stuff we bought from Lowe's, just like over the top um, plastic pants and uh, a raincoat, just in case it does rain. They, they fold up into a handful size and I just throw them into my top bag on the bike. Hit me up in the comments down below. Uh, if you like what we're doing, just subscribe. I'm going to take my videos into a bit of a new direction. So what I'm going to start doing is focusing on information. So I'm going to give you uh, some how to's. Uh, we're going to do a lot of writing tutorials. I got a great response to my last writing tutorial video. I'm going to do uh, things like log jumping, hill climbing, hill descents, emergency braking. Yeah, heaps of fun stuff. I'm about to do a tire review. So these are two Midas E09 Dakar tires. Um, I've got to fit them. So I'm going to do a video on fitting tires, which will be um, pretty awesome because I've only done it once before on an adventure bike. They'll be my new tire I'm going to run. I'm going to do a product review on them and a test. I'll put them on uh, and I'll go out and do a ride and 
give you guys a review pretty much on the spot as to what I think of these tires. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. We've got heaps of good fun stuff happening. We're just shy of a thousand subscribers. It's today's the 31st of December, 2022. So we've grown this greatly through the year. I thank every single person for um, coming along for the ride jumping in on the comments and yeah re really appreciate uh the interaction i have with everyone happy new year everybody and uh, look forward to some new videos in the new year